how to add an archive block to a Squarespace website. Select Edit on the top left-hand side of your website preview. In a page section, select the Add Block option and choose Archive from the list of content blocks. Squarespace will automatically add demo content to the content block, but you can select this Edit option to replace it with your own. Choose a collection page from your website, a blog, an event, or a product, and the content of this block will update automatically to display the content inside that collection. On the Display tab of your Archive menu, you can change the layout to Index, List, or Dropdown, change the alignment, and decide how you'd like to group the content by month, year, author, category, or tag. After you've selected the display settings that you'd like to see, select Save on the top left-hand side of your website, and you'll be good to go. Some important things to know about Archive Blocks. These are specifically for blogs, products, and events. You will be able to link to a portfolio, project, course, or video collection. The content displayed inside an archive block is from the collection page itself. You won't be able to edit the text of an archive block, but if you make any changes to a collection page, like changing the title of a blog post, if that blog post is listed in an archive block, the title will be updated automatically. Archive blocks only show text. They won't display images like blog post thumbnails. If you'd like to share a list of collection content that includes images, you should consider using a summary block instead of an archive block. To learn more about this feature, check out the Beginner's Guide to Squarespace Summary Blocks linked underneath this video. To learn more about all the cool things that you can do with Squarespace, be sure to check out the related content linked below and visit InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.